86 part 2 finale The 86 come home from Chris for Christmas then Ernst of course we, we all know who Ernst is he's the he's not only their foster father he's also the president of the Jad Federacy sa presidente so binigyan sila ng mga tiki-tiki na regalo based on their yeah their newfound interests It was it was quite a shock when when Shin learned to cook. <laughs> okay, March 2150 came along. Shin paid his final respects to his older brother. Yung yung piece ng machine ng kanyang kapatid eh, nasa kanya. Yung nilagay na niya doon sa isang yung parang yung graveyard ng Federacy for for their machines. Tsaka ayun, yung parang stash na ganun, yung nilagay and Bukong nagparamdam pa nga si Kiri eh. Sinabi, sinabi na lang ni Shin, I have forgotten about you. I am the Reaper. Ooh. Then he also made his peace with um Eugene, yung kanyang naging best friend noon, na lumabad din sa gera. And of course, he, he, had, to, he had to euthanize dahil eh, talagang severely incapacitated eh. So, ideal target ito for the Legion to, of course, to pick his brain literally eh pumunta rin pumunta rin si Marcel doon sa libingan ni Eugene and well he basically told the whole truth that he was the one who told uh, Eugene's younger sister Nina to uh, about the hate meal mga sinabi na lang niya kay Nina na uy padala mo lang ano yan sabihin mo kung nung salobin mo buhos mo lahat na sa mga sa mga Lata sa manong lobo dyan. Sige. He was the one who egged Nina on in doing that. And well, basically, Shin brushed it off and just apologized. As an apology for Nina, nag-iwan si Shin doon ng isang litrato with him and Eugene. Na talaga, nag-aasaran. That's what best friends do. Nakita ni Nina ito, and yun nga, napaiyak na lang sa, uh, napaiyak na lang si Nina and just, shouted a really loud thank you para baka sa kanin marinig ni Shin. Then, they've been given new Regan leaves, new mission orders, and they have been given a new commanding officer who turns out to be Lena with this new task new task force consisting of, of course, Shin and the other 86. Lena has been um has been installed into the Federacy military as a colonel. Ngayon, yung, yung kanyang dating commanding officer, minamam na siya ngayon. Lena eventually paid her supposedly final respects to Shin and the other, and the other 86. <laughs> the glass box itself, nilagay niya doon sa mismong graveyard ng mga... Yung kung saan nilagay? Nilagay ni Shin yung kanya. Then, final scene, ayun. Uh, inintroduce na ni Ernst kila Shin kung sinong commanding of yung, yung yeah, si Lena and yung sinabi nila ni Shin this is the first time we faced each other gumunan siya welcome back handler one so napayak na lang sa tuwa si Lena and he eventually she eventually recognized the others yan sila Raiden si Corena si Tio at si Anju and they all had a selfie, courtesy of Federica. It was a, it was a tearful reunion, courtesy of Lena. And well, as in her own words, she finally caught up with the 86. We're gonna break this episode down as much as we can, pero siempre critic sub style. Base. Um, typical of an, typical, typical of an aftermath episode, and well. An aftermath finale, to be, to be, uh, to be exact. Ayos lang yung pacing, pero ang nagpaganda rito, yung, uh, ang nagpa-justify sa pacing ng episode na to, di, yung explainer story ni Lena. Medyo nagkaroon ng backstory din, di, backstory sequence din dito, pero super, super dali eh. Napakasaglit lang. It's just... 
Yeah, mga 2 seconds lang eh. Just to just to make the audience see kung ano pinagdaanan ni Lena right after the Legion attack Grand Mur, a Grand Mur, the capital of San Magnolia. When yeah, when during the fall of San Magnolia. So talagang kalunos-lunos yung pinagdaanan nila nila Lena. Just goes to show you through the spacing that yeah, war is ugly. Before and then, during and after it ends. Do I have complaints, mga kalaistan? Hell no. Sakto lang ang pace ng episode nato because because it's an aftermath style of, of an episode. Kaya tapat lang na bagalan mo ang pacing dito. Flow naman. There was only one gearship I saw here. Yung first time meeting nila Ernst at ni Lena. In all indications from that gear shift, posible magkaroon ng isa pang season ng 86. But, based on the final scene, mukhang hindi na. <laughs> mukhang hindi na. So, well, again, based on that gear shift alone, I'd say, yeah, this was a great finale. Plotwise, planchado. Mainly because of Lena's full explainer story. Kung paano, kung paano, on how she and the other San Magnolians, even the even the uh, even the remaining even the remaining 86 there, uh, they, of course they escaped with their lives, then fought all they can against the Legion. Uh, opposed the legion kahit na uh, kahit uh, kahit mga struggler na lang sila and and to my surprise buhay pa ang kanyang best friend na si Annette <laughs> who eventually was uh, hired by the federacy to become one of their tech partners so sila dalawa talaga in absorb the federacy it only takes an a plot this well ironed out para Ma, ma, compreme, ma, ma comprehend mo bilang viewer kung ano ang pinagdaanan nila Lena and of course on on how Shin made his peace with some issues that he's got well, we all we all know his issues okay at he's taken for me he's taken two big steps right there uh, sa libing sa libing ni Eugene and of course yung yung pag uh, Yung pag, uh, yeah, paying his final respects also to his, uh, to his older brother. Kuya niya. Wow. So, well learned that plot. Okay. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this finale, folks. It's a great finale to a great anime. So, 86 part 2 finale, or should I say, for now, Series finale. Ano mga ba? Mm. <laughs> Two thumbs up. With that out of the way, pag-usapan natin yung kung uh, kung bibigyan pa ito ng isa pang season. But for me, it's 40-60. Based on the gear shift that we saw, and of course, the final scene. Well, it's now A1 Pictures' is call to um to give it another season. Pero for now, thank you A1 Pictures for giving us one of the best animes in recent memory. It's an honor reviewing this one. Talagang wow. Um. If you're going to ask me which is better, Code Geass or 86, I'm sorry. I now go for 86. <laughs> Kasi, mas true to life ang storyline nito. Mas true to life ang storyline niya. It's closer, to, uh, it's closer to what's happening now. Eh. 2022, of course, with, the, um, uh, with Russia's invasion of the Ukraine and uh, some... Uh, some forms of violence going on in 
uh, what you call this, somewhere in uh, somewhere in the Middle East, and of course uh, the Taliban retaking Afghanistan forcefully, ah. So mas true to life talaga ang storyline ng '86 compared to Cold Gias. Kaya I'm sorry guys, but the best mecha anime in uh, yeah. The best military sci-fi anime in recent memory is this one, 86. So again, thank you A1 Pictures for giving us this great anime. Talaga mo. Bawa ako. Bawa talaga ako. So again, 86. Series finale. Two thumbs up. Final two thumbs up for now for 86 Mga Lifestyle. Wow. Classic. Classic. So Patreon. Wait for my next upload for any anime, actually. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, chill na lang kayo dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.